Hi, my name is OC Edge 4 and you are watching OC's Tech Tips. Today we are going to review the new changes and updates to Pages. So, first of all, we are going to open up Pages and we are going to look at how to add drawings to your Pages document. And the first thing you are going to do is you are going to press the plus in the top right corner. At the bottom, select Drawing. You can resize and zoom into the area according to what you prefer. The view that we're looking at now is from the iPhone. So if you have an iPhone, this is the type of view that you would see if you open up pages and you wanted to draw. You do not need an Apple Pencil to get started. You can just use your finger as I'm doing here, drawing a nice smiley face. Now I'm drawing another one. Uh, there is a shocked face. Um, actually, I don't like that nose. I'm going to change that. Uh, that's better. Okay, so it's as simple as that. And once you've finished, you can click done in the top right corner. And then you can resize the drawing and put it, place it in your document wherever you prefer. And you can continue to type outside your document just as you would by inserting any other photo image that you would, may have added to your document. Okay, I can add another picture to this document as well. So if I again select the plus in the top right corner and then click drawing and then I can draw and obviously I've sped up this footage here. You can mess around with the colors in the bottom right. You can see the color dot. You can change the color and you can add colors to your image if you so please. This is the first time I'm using it so I'm not really going to try to do anything really artistic. Well, hopefully you see the point. You can draw a picture and resize it, and that's it. Now let's take a look at the view, which is slightly different in the iPad view. So if you have an iPad, you would select the plus again, and you would select drawing, uh, but you can see the color wheel is slightly different. You've got more options when it comes to selecting the correct color or your desired color for your um, project. And here again, I'm just writing in some words, resizing that into an existing document. You can see as you move it around, it fits perfectly into the document wherever you'd like it to go. And again, selected plus drawing. And now I'm going to draw another face. See how it goes this time. Be a bit more ambitious. Big smiley face there. And I'm going to try to color in. So I'm using the crayon here to color in the eyes. And then we have a uh, paint tube. It looks like a tube of paint is what I meant to say. And what you do is you kind of draw and it has this dotted line where you can draw the area and it just fills in that whole area with that color. I haven't figured out how to only uh, how to do coloring in better than that yet but when I do I will update the tutorial but that's it and as usual you can add images from the internet you can again swipe up drag over for your split screen view do your search for your images make sure that they're labeled for reuse and then you can place them on your document by dragging and dropping resizing that is it. Okay, thanks for watching. This video was made using screen recorder in iPhone and iPad. Please like, share and subscribe. See you next time.